Hey, what's up guys, it's your roommate, aka the cool 10 We're back with a video and it's Super Craft Bros and I'll be showing you guys some good gem classes to use. There are some really bad ones, so I'll show you the good ones. And I'm joined with my uh, little brother again, Ethan. Hi. And he's better today, so Nether Fortress. Never mind, don't join it. Um, Caneland. Okay. So I'm going to start off from Butter Bro to TNT. Butter Bro, not really good. Chicken is good. Trust me. Now, the only good thing about the butter bro. Actually, is how about this? Let's go all the way down. So I'm gonna go from butter bro to TNT. So I'm gonna start with butter bro. Um. First I make make a mushroom. Whatever. So. I want to tell what's only good about the butter. No, stop, Ethan. The butter bro has a sharpness one knockback to butter stick. He's a butter stick. And has a few bombs that do like half a heart damage. So it's a really bad class unless you're playing on, let's say, Night Dragon. Something like that. Something with lots of edges so you can knock them off. But besides that, not really good. And the bombs, they set the person on fire when they, what? when you hit them. And the magma chief is a VIP class, but we're not VIPs, but it's very good. Ow! 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 Ooh! Ooh! Ow! The little ones even hate. Hate the magma chief. Ah! Magma chief so OP. Let me see if I can try to hit him. To the reputation. I just totally just jumped off. Yes. Now I only recommend this class if you're playing on Night Dragon or yeah, or even if you're playing on what's it called? Even if you're playing on uh, I can't hit that dude. Sounds. Get out of here. Okay. No flizz. Oh no. What? Ethan, did you just hit me? It was lagging. Uh huh. Sure. So I'll eat the place that game, I'll play my own. Um, let's hop on to Nether Fortress. I don't play it No, I'm already playing my own game. Okay. So the next class is the chicken, which Ethan was playing before. It's good, decent. It's okay. It's actually a really good class. A lot of people don't use it because it's 50 gems. I don't get that because just because it's lower gems, that means you shouldn't use it. It has knockback one, sharpness one with sword, same as the cactus. Doesn't have thorns though, which makes sense. And 10 grenades, explosions, eggs that do like, I think it's from half a heart to three hearts. Yeah. Half a heart to three hearts, or half a heart to four hearts. I I don't know. Um, can search it up or something. I'm not sure, <coughs> but I'll find out. And the good maps to use a chicken. Um, flat areas. So if there's any flat maps, this is semi flat, but maps where it's flat so you could fight. And. Yeah. Where did that where's the end code one? This kid's gonna shoot around. Oh, nice shot. Oh. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Nope, 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 nope. Woo! Nope. Okay. 
got the with the skull tour. Ah. Ah. And one thing about Supercraft Bros that not a lot of people do is regen. You want to regen as much as possible. See if I regen there, I could have killed him. Um, the biggest threat is the TNT and the with a Skeletor. Okay, I'm gonna let them fight. Get out. What? What? A nuke. Big mistake. Oh, gotcha. Oh. That almost killed me. Okay, I gotta take out Burt Crew. Got him. Get out. Okay. Woo! Oh, come on. Yes. I'm gonna let them do get out first. I really want to regen right now. Um, is there any platforms here? Yeah. Okay, I'll let them duke it out first. That's the thing that not a lot of people do is regen. Regen. That is a key to winning in Supercraft Bros. So if you're 7.5 hearts, you're good. Okay, I'll see. I think I can take him. I'll just have to wait a little longer. Oh, he has super regen. Get out of here. This guy has super regen. I do not want to take on a guy that has super regen. Now, super regen, if there's a lot of... Like, super regen. The thing is, when you get hit, it regens you all the way. And it's kind of weird because if you have knockback or something like that, it actually knocks them back further. You missed. What? This guy's cray cray. Cray cray up all my fizzle snizzle. And to be good at PvP of Graph Bros, it's not the same as normal PvP. You want to jump a lot, double jump. A lot. A lot. Let's see if I can pick this guy off. Fire resistance. Yes. GG. Um, let's hop on to Nether Fortress again. Um End. The end. Okay. Come in. So the next class I'll be demonstrating is the notch. Now everybody hates the notch. Um teleport stuff. Everyone hates being teleported, especially when you knock the guy off and then he teleports you. Everyone just hates that. But it comes with a stone sword and a grass block that TPs two random opponents towards you. So if you teleport a teammate or somebody else that you didn't really want to teleport, then too bad. Can't really do anything about it. It's random. 
But one thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have knockback on it. Because I like having knockback, especially when I'm finding other classes so I can knock them off the edge and it's an easier kill. That's also that. You don't always have to kill the guy just from melee. You can also knock him off, which is, I think, a time saver, especially when you're fighting better classes. Yeah. Better buyers. Oh. Okay, so they did change the end. It is a little different. Whoa! I love the what's in here. Ah. Um, hey, so it's me, Eden, here. and my maker. I already know what's in there. It's lava. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna Ow. Hmm. So I'm at three lives, so I just wanna wait it out a little bit. But they did redo it, so you can't map exploit that easy. And the cactus is pretty good too. And we already showed you that. Ethan, help! Oh. Oh, it's just us? Yeah. Fine. And one thing about the notch, I'll just show you just a second. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the TP thing. If you got TP, it is super slow motion. Yes, I took you down. And that's when you're fa facing another notch. Oh. When you're facing another notch and they're about to jump off, you want to TP them to you. If it's a one-on-one -on -one kind of fight. If it's a four-way fight, then it's a little tougher. That's a little strategy. I guess you can use and... I'll tell everybody if they can join Ying Yang. Come on, y'all. Ying Yang. I don't think anybody's joining. Okay, let's just do a different one. Um. Which one are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. The end? Sure. Okay, so the next class I'll be doing is the Ocelot. Now the Ocelot's the same as the squid, um, with the weapon wise, but not an exotic fish, but instead it doesn't blind them, it doesn't do anything to them. It spawns them with a diamond that makes them confused and kind of drunk kind of thing. So let's say you're playing Night Dragon and you're parkouring, you'll probably mess up because of the diamond. Because of the diamond, yeah. So let's use the diamond. And I can easily beat the wither skeleton. Hey. And. Ow. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm about to die. I need to escape. That's one thing I do have to focus more on is escaping. I really need to escape much more often so I get that advantage over everybody so I have more lives. Yes! I don't know how that guy hit me, but who cares? So I'm using my diamond. That guy's poison and confused. Because of course I'm the witch. Whatever. Ow. Okay, so I'm at 
three. And I don't think you can get up there with the ladder. Oh yeah, you can. So you can't really exploit this map anymore. If I was a dweller right there, I wouldn't jump. I would just camp up there until they just fight it out. <gasps> Oh. They're teaming. Okay, then we are teaming. Ow. Whoa, he just launched you. I did not fight you over there. You're finished. And you always want to go on the side, especially if you're fighting somebody. Ow. Okay, I just got the hammer. and show them some of the like um some of the what is it called again um items oh yeah um i think they'll know so this is hammer knockback 10 and the bomb is a one shot kill now if you're gonna pvp somebody you want to kind of move over to the side there we go so now my brother's gonna be playing the witch, of course, and I'll show you guys how to fight the witch also. You wanna dodge the, dodge the potions as much as possible. You don't want to get in the line of fire. So you wanna just keep running, hit them once, and then they're gonna throw it. I got poisoned, just gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Keep running. Now I'm gonna, po I'm gonna confuse him. Okay, um, okay, now my poison's gone, so what I want to do... Whoa, I'm, to, I'm gliding. I'm a gliding man. I want to spawn that witch. He's attacking you. For some reason. Give him a bit of trouble. And I'll just keep running. I'll keep running until I'm good. He's poisoned. <gasps> GG. So, uh, let me see how long this is going. This is 17 minutes. I can keep going because I can record over 15 minutes now. Yeah, boy. Stronghold? Um. Here's stronghold. Some, stronghold? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go. I'm in. I'm in too. So, I'm going to... Actually, I want to end this episode right now. So, see you guys next part. See ya.